Despite the high rates of failure in business and entrepreneurship, why is it that so many people get into business without any formal training? Some people may assume that because they've done a degree in business or commerce, that they've actually been educated on how to build a business and how to run a successful business. Unfortunately, most business degrees teach you very basic fundamentals of how the economy works or it teaches you management as it applies to the corporate world. Very few business degrees actually teach you and give you the practical realities of what it's like to build a business from scratch. The question is, should people get into business without any training? There's no doubt about the fact that business is one of the toughest intellectual sports in the world. And what makes business even more complex than any other discipline is that business is not just about having one skill, it's a multitude of skills. And in one of my future videos, I'll talk about the 18 skills that collectively give you the ability to be able to build and scale a business successfully. But in this video, I just want to talk about the fact that when people get into business without any training, they are increasing their odds of failure. Statistics around business failure are very clear. A lot of businesses fail within the first two years and a lot of them that survive and make it to their fifth year, a good percentage of them will also fail in the next five years. And then even the ones that do survive after five years, most of them are never profitable or if they're profitable, they don't get to scale and they don't get to enjoy the rewards of the labor, the sweat and blood that they put into their business. Sometimes you will see that a person makes a transition into business without any training and they become successful. However, the question is, could they have been successful in a shorter period of time? I believe that if you do business training and then you build a business, you're going to reduce the learning curve and the outcomes that you're able to achieve in business will be accelerated. Instead of taking 30 or 40 years or even 20 years to build a business, you may find that with the proper training, you can build a business within three to five years. So number one reason for doing training is that you can reduce the amount of time that it takes you to build a smart business. The second possibility that you may see is that some people are running businesses and they have been running businesses for a long period of time. But the question is, are they running an efficient business or there is a lot of leakage of time, money and resources. When people get into business without training, they can sustain a business for long periods of time. However, without business training, they are not in the position to evaluate whether or not there is drainage of time, wealth and resources. So they may be running a business, but the question is, are they running an efficient and effective business or they're running a very inefficient business, which is just unnecessarily causing them to spend more time, more money and more resources than they need to. The third situation that you may come across is some people that may look like they're running a successful business, but they may be on the verge of bankruptcy or business failure and they may not know it. Sometimes when people get into business without training, there may be some periods where they're experiencing good growth and good sales, good revenue and even good profit. But the question is, if without business training, can they sustain that year after year and decade after decade? And sometimes you're not going to see that until it's too late and the business owner goes out of business and the business fails. Certainly when businesses fail, majority of businesses will attribute their business failure to something other than their own capabilities. They'll attribute business failure to legislation changes, to economic changes, to uh, bad deals or bad partnerships or clients not paying on time. However, very few of these things are things that cannot be influenced by a business owner if they have the right skills and the right capabilities. But the ultimate reason why businesses fail is because of management failure. The leaders don't know how to run a business, they don't know how to grow a business. And I'm always amazed by the fact that despite business being one of the toughest intellectual sports in the world and business being a multitude of skills, how many people get into business without any training, without any skills and they try and wing it. And because a lot of people on the outside don't really know how to measure the success of a business, they automatically just assume that because somebody may have a big office or they have lots of staff members or they have a big building through which they're running their premises, that they're successful. Very few people will actually question what is going on in the financials of the business. Very few people will have the capability to know that the culture is a toxic culture in the business unless they're trained in business. The reason I'm doing this is because if you have uh, the ambition to become a successful business person, not just a business person who has made the transition into entrepreneurship, but somebody who wants to successfully build a good, healthy and profitable business, you owe to yourself the responsibility of getting properly educated in business. 
If you want to be one of the few business people that sustains, makes a sustainable impact, has a competitive advantage, and provides a great place for people to come and work, you have to be trained in business. Don't try and wing it like a lot of people who try and wing it in business. If you want your business to leave a legacy, provide you with a great lifestyle, and provide you with financial wealth, it is up to you to get trained in business. Keep an eye out for one of my videos where I'll talk about the 18 skills that you need to build, grow, and scale a business successfully.